you said it on you. And you know what? I keep in my spirit. You say, on this present earth. You say, on this present earth. You say, before you leave here, I'm going to give you back what you lost. 30 fold, 60 fold, 100 fold, on this present earth. So that means all my hurt, all my pain. Oh, God. All my life, God said, so I'm going to give it back to you. Amen. You say, I'm going to give it back to you. And you say, when I get to heaven. He said, well, I'm on this present earth. Amen. Amen. So I got to keep going and keep pressing because I believe he's going to give it back to me. Oh, he's going to give it back to me. I believe he's going to give it back to me. I believe he's going to give it back to me. Other ones going to be better than it ever be. It's going to be greater than it ever be. you got to be able to go through and know that you got to keep going. you got to keep pressing. Say, how about the music? I've got to keep going. i got to keep going. I didn't say, I feel like keep going. I said, i got to keep going. Go oh, come on, somebody. I don't know how I feel. i got to keep going. Because God said, he's going to give it to me. Yes, God. On this earth. Thank you. Say, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. So i got to stay in place with God. Jesus. So he can give it to me. Amen. Because if I move out the will of God, if I move out the place of God, then, then I'm not in place to get what he promised me. Say, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, now, Jesus. Come on, somebody. I know that the devil wants to put ass in your pants. Jesus. He wants you to be anxious and want to move and, and feel it and think it. But you got to stand still and know he's God. Oh, and you know God said he's going to do it, he's going to do it. Amen. I know when God said he's going to do it, he's going to do it. Amen. God said I'm going to change him, he said I'm going to change him. That means God's going to change him. He said I ain't going to do it right here, but he said I'm going to change him. Oh, and you got to hold on to the word of God. And, and, and that's what when you go through, you got to be able to help me holding on to something. Thank you, Jesus. Because if you don't go through something and hold on to something, you ain't going to go through right. Y'all know how? Amen. See, a lot of people go through, but they ain't holding on to them. See, the enemy can't have feeling with you when you ain't holding on to something. Amen. But when you hold on to something, he still might be hitting you, but you be hitting it back. But I'm not going to stand and trust God. I'm going to believe God. I'm not going to let go. I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to keep going. Amen. I'm just going to keep praising God. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because you're holding on to something. Amen. See, that's when your faith been tried when you know you're holding on to something. See, but when you don't know you ain't holding on to something, it's just... Come on, somebody. Amen. I mean, when you ain't holding on to something, just see like, shh. Yes. But when you're holding on to something, it's a fight. Because I'm not letting go. Amen. I'm not giving up. Amen. But when, okay, what I'm saying is, what are you holding on to? Because if you ain't holding on to something, the devil will whoop you. Yes. He will you if you ain't got a word of God, you hold on to a promise of God or a promise of something that you hold on to. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. When the enemy come up against you, he got you. Because you got nothing to hold on to. Thank you, Jesus. Say hallelujah. That's what he has you tossed and turned to you every which way. Because you got nothing to hold on to. Y'all better how? Amen. When the storm comes, you got to hold on to a tree or something. Amen. Because if you don't hold on to something, it's going to blow you away. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody that never blow you away when he come and attack you and come against you. If you ain't holding on to something, whoa, y'all better talk to him. I'm preaching now. Amen. I'm preaching now. If you ain't holding on to something, you'll stop going to church. Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody tell people, they ain't the people in the church just that you have nothing to hold on to. Because no matter what they do, you got to hold on to, you keep going. Because that's what God said, He's going to bless me. God ain't told me to go nowhere. God ain't told me to shut. God ain't told me to sit out. God told me to stand. If they don't help, He's going to bless me. Because a lot of times you be out of place with God because you ain't hold on to what God said. And the Bible said, the devil wants you to waver because the Bible said, if you waver, you need not ask for nothing. You got a lot of people waving, but they still expect this stuff. You can't be expecting something, but God said, if you waver, you need not ask for nothing. Amen. Come on, somebody. You got to stand and hold on and, and, and refuse to waver. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Y'all know how? Amen. Why? Because God said, because the enemy comes, you got to have some hold on to. Thank you, Jesus. Because if you ain't got, and how many know, if you ain't got the whole, oh, you're going to wait. Amen. And, and you know, people wait till he's still, I got news for you now. I try to bust your balls up, but <laughs> he, I don't know where you get that from. Because that ain't the word. He still going to bless me. I ain't seen that. Y'all see that? Y'all read that scripture in the web? He still going to bless me. I ain't seen that nowhere in scripture. Yeah. But I heard him say, him that to do it to the end. He said, him that run the race. It ain't given to the quicker to the swift. It's given to the one that endured to the well. The end. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. So no matter I'm crawling to the finish line. No matter if I got to roll. <laughs> I just got to make it to the finish line. Say hallelujah, Jesus. Something you 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 ain't get nothing. If you 
people alone. The, the religion don't get you nothing. Amen. Impressive people don't get you nothing. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all in the house. Amen. Go in the church and shout at people say, girl, the spirit is all over you, don't get you nothing. Amen. But hold it on. When everybody comes home. When your money gets shot. Will seem like everything's falling apart. Thank you. And you hold it on. Thank you, Jesus.
with my faith, my trust in God, believe in what God told me, know that God holding me, know that I should have been taken away by the storm, but I'm still standing. I should be evicted, but I'm still standing. I should be walking instead of riding, but I'm still riding. God, I give you praise, I give you glory. That's the shield of faith that has been built up and strengthened by your trials. And every time the enemy hits you with something, that shield of faith got all your stickers on it. From everything you've been through. And every time the enemy hit it, you show one of your stickers. You see that man? I was broke. But I've still got a place to stay. That's my shield with a bunch of stickers on it. I still got room for more, but I got some sickness on it because I know that's by my face now. Hallelujah. But if I ain't got no shield, I ain't got no sword. Jesus. Like that. Hallelujah. If I ain't got no shield, I ain't got no sword. Because the sword ain't no good without no shield. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Y'all are down. And you need to recognize where is your shield. Because you'll find out you've got a soul. But if you ain't got a shield, the stand up against the dots of the devil. They quench to every dot. Every and that's what do I say? Every dot of the devil. Every dot of the devil. Oh, Jesus. Oh, y'all are down. I do it up.
It's not what I did. It's where I'm now. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you this. Is, this is, yesterday don't count. Oh, yeah. So while you try to break up yesterday, you know, it don't count. This is a new day. This is a new hour. This is a new season. It's a new season because it's a new day. And a new day don't come from the sun or when the sun comes down. The new season comes when I change my mind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Because you've been living down there because you never change your mind of how you feel about the situation. And you never always in darkness, so you never was in the sun. Thank you, Jesus. So you live in darkness. And when light shine, you choose darkness rather than light. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, y'all ain't gonna see me. Oh, I'm preaching now. Because my last night, I'm busy going home. I'll be back Sunday. See how I look at you. Why? Because you got to recognize the enemy is so sneaky and so cunning. If you don't see the truth, he'll keep fooling you. Amen. It'll make you feel you somewhere you ain't never even been there. <clears throat> what you fear the most, you ain't never been there. What you fear the most. Jesus. You've been hurt, you've been a bit between that there. Your greatest fear you haven't even experienced it yet. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. But it costs things to happen in your life. And you ain't never even been there. Mm -hmm. You've been down, but you ain't been there. Amen. You've been without, but you ain't been there. Jesus. You never, oh my God. Hallelujah. You ain't never had to pass by the cabinet and pull over at night and get you some cabinets. Yeah. <laughs> some of y'all ain't, but anyway. And you weren't doing it because you wanted to. You were doing it because you had to. But what you fear the most and what caused the enemy to get you, what you fear the most ain't never happened. You've been hurt, but you've never been hurt like you've been hit. You've never been abused like you've been hit. You ain't never been in this place that you feel the most, this dark, dark place. Jesus. That you only got a glimpse of it. Amen. Oh my God. Because if you've been in that place, you would either be dead or in the same with Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Woo, y'all quiet. Hallelujah. Well, let me get on. I ain't getting too much here tonight. Ain't God. Jesus. Why? Because, because if you don't begin to put on the whole arm of God, your breastplate ain't going to help you. Because you'll never be able to do it right. Breastplate rest, rest of righteousness. Knowing how to do it, knowing how to handle it, knowing how to deal with it. Thank you, Jesus. Because you're missing a shield. And a soul. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hey, my God. You can read it. And pour it on your altar. But until you grab it and you visualize it and know that you got it and test it out, let something hit you. <laughs> let it hit that. Oh, yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. But every time you get test out, you find us a toy, you got some dog treat. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. Your helmet got a crack in it. So the enemy get in your thoughts. Because of your shield. Amen. Worry and frustration, the anguish it come from, from it comes from the brain. Thoughts. So that means if I ain't got my helmet on, my hard hat on while I ain't working. Jeez. So people fall and hit me. And it's damaging me, I don't know it's damaging me. Until a big bone to hit me. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Who 
Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Hallelujah. Yeah, glory to God. Yeah, glory to God. You got to know why the praise and worship and glorifying God has got to be real to you. It's got to be supernatural. I'm putting on something. I'm taking something off. I'm praising God. I'm putting something on. I'm taking something off. I'm transforming my mind. I'm taking different things with God. I'm taking it off and putting on what God said. Every time my mind is being renewed, every time I hear a song, every time I build a thought that was there, I keep rid of it. Why? Because when that song will transform that mind. If your mind is repetition being transformed, you'll never prove the perfect will of God. Hallelujah. And when you don't know these, fact, these devices that God used to help you conform to his ways, you. you'll be entertained and never change. Because nothing God do is just to be doing it. He's doing it for a reason so you can transform into the likeness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And when you think it's when you don't understand it, it'll happen and you don't know what's happening. And when you test it, you say, it's something, uh, look at the name on two years, it works. It works. See, see it, 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 when you don't know how to use it, it don't work. Yeah, when, when you don't know how to use it, it don't work. You know how? Amen. And you know how to use it, don't work. That's true truth, that's real. If you don't know how to use it, don't work. Hallelujah. See, it ain't because God ain't you saying his word is not powerful. His father is powerful. He's got all power in his hand. He's got, oh my God, he makes you coming in and going out. He yes. by, but if you don't know how to use it, he won't do you no good. If you don't know when to stand up, shout out, oh, shout out. You'll fall down every time. If you don't know when to get up, if you don't know when to shout, if you don't know when to pray, you don't say, ah, you in trouble. Amen, amen. Because he'll get you in time. You can have the tools, but you got to know how to use them. Hallelujah. And we recognize things that God gives, but we don't recognize the tools. This is how you overcome. This is what you use when the enemy comes at you. He said, he said, resist the devil. He said, first and all, to resist the devil, I got to have my armor. I got to have my shield. I can't resist the devil if I don't have my shield. And I can't draw close to God because I don't have a soul. Because when I draw close to God, I, draw, I say, God, I thank you for being my provider. I thank you for being my witness. I thank you for being my keeper. God, I thank you for your word. It's true. God, I give you praise. I give you glory. So I'm drawing closer to God because I'm using my soul to fight the enemy off. Hallelujah. He shooting down. Say me, tell me what I ain't. Tell me what I never have. Tell me my position. Tell me how broke I am. Thank you. 
breaks things in my life when I think I don't know if people are giving to my book. Why? Because I got my helmet on. Amen. But if I got my helmet on, like these like them stylish hats up here waving to look at And when I look, I got to see God's creation. I got to see God's hand. Because when I look and I don't see God's hand, I'm going to see the enemy. And when I see the enemy, I'm going to get upset. I'm going to get mad. I'm going to thank God to forsake me. I'm going to thank God to left me. And I'm going to begin to question God. I'm going to say, where are you He told you to leave your help. You'll be hitting the head. <laughs> I guarantee you, you'll be hitting the head. Ain't no light in it. You go get hit in your head if you get your help. Amen. It ain't no construction because you might get hit, so we want to put a hard head. No, you're going to be hit. Because that devil's out there seeking who he made it by. He's like a roaring lion. See who he gonna get today. See, he always is just looking at me. See who he oh, he forgot to help him. And he is that why that's why he said, meditate on the law. Day and night. What you mean? God's creation. I ain't messing with it. I'm moving in my life. How all this right here, the miracle gonna come out. God making me a fool to be God is messing with me. Who got a mind like that? God bless me right now. God will put the devil in for me. They don't feel good right now, but I know God, I trust God. He's going to bless me. And I'm going to have my own. And I'm going to do some great things because I know God in this state. But I'm going to be able to tell God. I'm going to be a tell God. I'm going to tell somebody. And if you trust the Lord, if you wait on God, if you don't be moved by people in circumstance, God will do what He said He's going to do. And I'm going to walk over here and speak that not from what I not from what I've heard, but what I know. Because I've been doing Now you know you wicked and cried all week long and all that. Now you're trying. I got a testimony to tell you. Just to trust God. I'm telling you myself. Trust God. And you and, and, and you be deceived, folks, because they see you going through and see how you acting and, and knew that you would stay. Cause you call them, and then you don't put on this this facade, this more powerful Christian facade. God looking for a true witness. Somebody is going through it, but standing still, trusting God, leaning on God. And don't you love? Don't you love when they just try to trust God? Stay in the way he wants you to stand. 
sitting. Oh, I got three dollars suit. Three dollars suit with money in the bank, but <laughs> but you got to you want God to do some things for you. Give him something to work with. Give him something to work with. Jesus. Praise God with all everything. Look at the word of God. Everyone, God, this was doing bad. But God showed up and lifted him up. God told Moses that was getting ready to be killed. And God saved Moses. Put him in a bag and put him on the water. Now, husband, what chance is there? Put him on the water. Terrible situation. God took him out, took him into the palace so he can make a decision. Jesus. Live a good life. Get all the clothes. Have all the fancy stuff. Which one do you want? You want to be, want to be my circle or you want to keep living like this? Jesus. What Moses did? Moses kept up. Moses said, no, I'm going to serve God. I was going to live up God's people. I got to live up God's people. And even though he went out there wrong the first time, he still had a heart. He done lived this exclusive life. I need a drunk this way. Who can find his clothes? I can get everything when he was on that. Stop 
but the heat is stopping that car. That car is stopping your stuff. Because you ain't connected to him. Jesus. You connected to stuff. Because you think stuff is him. Stuff is not God. Amen. God is bigger than stuff. Hallelujah. Bigger than stuff. And when you grab it, you have stuff. But when you can't grab God without the stuff, you'll mess with your stuff. It's something to make them money. They still don't have no money. I was seeing folks they never had no money. Now they get money. We broke it down. They had before they got money. <laughs> Ain't that tough? Ain't that real? Y'all ain't said that before they had a job. It was, it was, it was, it was all you said. Oh, they get that. They living good. They ever got a job? I got a check? Now you should. Oh, they said, God bless them. If God blessed him, what's wrong with him? If I got a job, I'm going to cut your food down. <laughs> you ready to live up? Amen. From the 
but get it since he's born. You treated him like that because I wanted you to treat him like that because I want to groom him. So I use you to groom him to the honor him. Because he's going to be the king. But God groomed you, you can't help it. I want to get my name out of that every week too. So my sister's going to get to the TV every week. She just ain't got nothing to do with TV. They know you ain't got no meal enough. Tell me that. After that, know you ain't got nothing. And then when they come, they get naked every two weeks. Every <laughs> and they used to know that boy got that bit in there for about six months. You try to be your young woman. The lust of the flesh and the pride of life start getting to you. That's when you start patting that thing on. Come by looking beautiful. Nails shine, stick it all over the plate. <laughs> you know I'm telling the truth. But we got the lust of the pride of life. Amen. When God is they say, God, let God groom you. Let God groom you. Amen. Imagine being out when you got other brothers and you out there at night by yourself watching the sheep. They bring you something and you can't even sit to the table. But everybody else, they got to bring you food out there to let you eat. Chosen one God, He don't treat you right because God won't let him treat you right. But God says, when I do it, you gonna know it's nobody but me. When I chose you, when I choose you, you gonna know it's nobody but me. When I bring you into the palace, you gonna know ain't nobody broke you but me. And you gonna trust me and lean on the bitch of it because you gonna know ain't nobody broke you here but me. What nobody stopped you but me? What nobody? Oh! But you find this. You go on a job, you get your worst job. I'm quick. <laughs> and then my job is to take the God. I mean, like, <laughs> take the God job. Because I know everything I do has to go to the Lord. Amen. See, when I went there, I went there with the Word. I didn't go there with the people, I went there with the Word. Amen. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God. Amen. So God can't be for reason and purpose. Make me a movie, God, because I know how they talk to me. I mean, oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. But you won't let him do it. Because you don't recognize your David. And you being rude. And you trying to be like everybody else. And you ain't like everybody else. Amen. Let me tell you something. Folks are jealous of folks. If God had chosen. They were jealous of Joseph. When Joseph told him the dream. Joseph told him what God was going to do. That's why you better stop telling folks your business. And let God go ahead and do what he's going to do in your life. Because if they chose with what God had chosen, he told them. And when he told them, that's when they start hating on him. They wanted to kill him, but God would let them kill him. And say, we're going to say that. Get it out. Now you don't show me your dream. See, you already messed up. Lord Jesus, take me back to my daddy. Lord Jesus, they're going to take me and put me in. Jesus, help me, Lord. That's you, that's you. I know what I see. I know what God's doing. I know what God's doing. I'm going in the dungeon and I'm going to promise that. I'm going to go tell him. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, God, will you be in this dungeon? God, will you be in this situation? Yeah. Y'all, yeah, sir, you fight. Let me out. Let me out. Look at the character of these people. Just 